Okay, let's divide some decimals. But before we divide decimals, let's just review uh, division itself. This number, 6 and 75 hundredths, in the beginning of the number sentence or division sentence is called the dividend. And this is the divisor. It's 10 o'clock. When dividing, you have to rewrite it in long division form. When you write it in long division form, the divisor actually is placed out in front, and the dividend, 6 and 75 hundredths, is placed in the inside. You can call this the den, this little air sheltered area, and kids can remember that the dividend goes in the den and the divisor is outside. So now, 6 and 75 hundredths divided by 3 and 125 thousandths. When you're dividing decimals, the divisor cannot have a decimal in it. So we can go ahead and move that decimal point three places to the right which is like multiplying it by a thousand. Okay. And in order to do that, you have to be fair or do the same thing to the dividend and move that also three places to the right, uh, which is like multiplying by a thousand again. But in this case, we run out of uh, place, uh, places to move it, so we would have to add a zero. Okay, so we've got six and seven hundred, well, six thousand seven hundred fifty now divided by three thousand one hundred twenty-five. So, if I now divide it as if it were whole numbers, we cannot worry about the decimal for right now. Okay, three thousand approximately into six thousand approximately because we know 3,000 can't fit into 6 or 67 or 675, but 3,000 can fit into 6,000 two times. So multiply the 2 times the 5 is 10, then the 2 times the 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, then the 2, and then 3 times, I like to put the multiplication, 3 times 2 is 6. Subtract and we are left with 500. Here we could place a remainder 500, but since we're dealing with decimals, um, we can also continue and have a decimal answer. So, in order to do that, I would have to put the decimal behind 6,750 where it does exist, we just don't know where we put it, and then bring it straight up in the quotient, and now I can add another zero and continue to long divide so that I don't get a remainder. So now that 500 left over becomes 5,000 and 3,000 can fit into 5,000 one time. Five, so that's gonna be three, one, two, five again. Subtract that, well 10, can't take that away, or zero. Make it 10 by borrowing, make this a nine, and we have to borrow from this guy and make that a nine as well. And then this 5 becomes a 4. All right, 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 2 is 7. And 8 and 1. I have to bring, uh, add another 0 and bring that down. And now 3,000 approximately into 18,000. Let's try 3 into 18 six times. 5 times 6 is 30, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15, 6 times 1 plus 1 is, which is 6, plus 1 is 7, 6 times 3 is 18, and we do get the same, so that would equal 0, so our quotient would be 2 and 16 hundredths. And that is long dividing with decimals. Cannot have a decimal in the divisor. So move it to the right, do the same thing to the dividend.